Mina, Ohio Gozaimas, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Gonna continue on with um, preaching more messages today. And this time I'm gonna come at you from 2 Samuel chapter 23, starting in verse 13. This is the story of three of David's mighty men and something really special they accomplished. Then three of the thirty chief men went down at harvest time and came to David at the cave of Adullam, and the troop of Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. David was then in the stronghold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David was said with longing, Oh, that someone would give me a drink of the water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. So the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines, drew water from the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink it, but poured it out to the Lord. And he said, Far be it from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is this not the blood of the men who went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink it. These things were done by the three mighty men. And it goes on to say, in verse 19, um, this is talking about Abishai, Was he not the most honored of three? Therefore he became their captain. However, he did not attain to the first three. And then go over once again to verse 23. This is, going to, this is referring to Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada. He was more honored than the 30, but he did not attain to the first three. And David appointed him over his guard. There was something really, really special about those first three men. The fact that they risked their lives for their king just for a drink of water. And that brings them to the verse in Matthew, where Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, He who gives this little one a drink of water, surely he's done so unto me. That's not that's a paraphrase, it's not an exact quote. Um, I don't know I don't remember off the top of my head where it is in Matthew. Google is your friend. Research it, look it up, find out for yourself. But what those three mighty men did was something above and beyond all the other men in David's army, and they were highly honored for that one thing they did. And it just, it makes me think, you know, what what have I done? Not that I des will ever do anything to deserve the Lord's blessing or can do anything. Not that I'll ever measure up. I need His grace and love and mercy and forgiveness like everybody. Um, I'm a sinner. But what can I do for God in faith where it'll just be something that's like, you know, that's worthy of honor, that's worthy of mention. <clears throat> what have you done where you've moved in faith that's worthy of honor, worthy of mention before the Lord? You know, it's just I believe that we should all do something to attain to that rank of the mighty man. Now, we're not, not all of us can be one of the three. I mean, it's a limited space slot right there. Not that three is the maximum number of, like, thrones in heaven or, you know, there's the right and the left hand of Jesus. And besides that, everyone else is kind of a leftover. I'm not saying that. It is true that there is, that, you know, if you're going to talk about a scale, then obviously everyone's going to have, going to, have to be ranked a bit differently. If all of us could simply be the best, that'd be pretty amazing. But let's be honest, not all of us are the best. Not all of us push to that highest possible standard. So I'm encouraging you to do the very best that you can to reach the highest possible standard you can. Because what the Lord honors is faithfulness and obedience based on what you have. He knows what you can and can't do. And if you're doing your absolute best, that means a lot more than the man who has ten more talents than you, but is only using two of them. If you use everything you've got, the Lord honors and blesses that. So do, seriously, do your best. Work your hardest. Do your best to attain to the three, so to speak. And I'll give, give glory and honor to your King, God Almighty. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I love you, and God bless.